नमस्कार ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ श्री अरबिंदू सोसाइटी वी चेतना मेहरा एंड जीशान वेलकम यू ऑल टू आर एल एम एस कोर्स ऑन एन ई पी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी लेट्स बिगिन द इंट्रोडक्शन इन दिस वीडियो वी विल नो अबाउट द कम्प्लीट कोर्स इन ब्रीफ बिफोर वी स्टार्ट लेट स्टार्ट विद वट इज जेड आई आई ई आई जेड आई आई ई आई इज अ जीरो इन्वेस्टमेंट इनोवेशन फॉर एजुकेशन इनिशियटिव जेड आई आई ई आई इज अ प्लेटफॉर्म फॉर द टीचर्स बाय द टीचर्स दैट इनकॉर्परेट्स द इनोवेशन गिवन बाय द टीचर्स टू ट्रांसफॉर्म एजुकेशन विद द हेल्प ऑफ दिस प्लेटफॉर्म टीचर्स अक्रॉस द कंट्री गेट कंटेंट्स रिलेटेड टू देयर करिकुलम फॉर देयर लर्निंग एंड अपस्किलिंग The purpose of ZIIEI is to help the teachers of the country to bring change in the field of education. Taking forward this line of assistance, ZIIEI has launched a course on the new education policy on their LMS platform for the teachers. This course has 14 modules related to National Education Policy 2020. through this teachers will be able to develop a comprehensive understanding about the new education policy and awarded a certificate after the successful completion of the course let's begin with the introduction in this video we will know about the complete course in brief namaskar welcome to shri arbindo society thank you I would like to extend my thanks to Shri Aurobindo Society for always taking the initiative to bring in affirmative progression in education. Thank you sir. Have you heard about NEP 2020? Yes, of course. I am very enthusiastic. After 24 years, our education policy has been revised keeping in view the pedagogy and processes across the world. It aims to make India a global knowledge superpower i hope you are aware of the recommendations and guidelines proposed in nep 2020 i am not much aware of the details but i have heard that the whole education system is going to be revamped nep 2020 proposes guidelines for various modification in education pre primary education inclusive education adult education as well as teachers education oh nep 2020 guidelines are quite elaborated and vast yes it is very important for us to know all the important guidelines every teacher must know the minutest detail about how to implement it sounds interesting If I want to learn more about an EP 2020, where can I get its details from? To get the understanding of an EP 2020 in detail, we invite the teachers of our nation to the LMS platform of Shri Arbindo Society, where we have divided the whole guidelines of an EP 2020 into 14 small modules. Each module consists of module introduction, pre-test, detailed videos and games for the fun assessment. After the successful completion of the course, a merit certification will be awarded. On what basis are these modules classified? These modules are classified on the basis of information given in NEP like information related to other national education policies. of the country before 2020 elementary education school education higher education teacher education and their recruitment and development why do we need a new education policy our old education policy not good enough there were no shortcomings but with the changing time and globalization we need to make the teaching learning processes better and effective Let us explore what is the need for NEP 2020. Many schools in remote area have three rooms. Often two classes are conducted at the same time with the children sitting back to back, making them hard to understand the concepts being taught in the class. The oral reading frequency 
fluency and numeracy skills of children are not up to the mark. This is a deep hole that the national education policy needs to fix. We need to revise the traditional education system as Indian children rank 73rd out of 74 countries in the international PISA test of reading, science and arithmetic. In order to meet the need of the knowledge-based economy in the changing global scenario, the existing education system requires a 360-degree turn. There was a need for a new education policy to enhance the quality of education, promote innovation and research to provide global access to Indian education system to adapt global standards of education. Is this the only reason for the NEP 2020? Come, let us explore why there is a need for NEP 2020. National education policy aims at making India a global knowledge power. India will have the highest population of young people in the world over the next decade and our ability to provide high quality educational opportunities to them will determine the future of our country. The National Education Policy 2020 is the first education policy of the 21st century and it aims to address the many growing developmental imperatives of our country. The education policy was revisited and guidelines were framed which would transform the education system and help in enhancing the learning level of learners. The guidelines of NEP 2020 have been published. Major educational reforms will take place in India's education system. The NEP 2020 is a game changer and is going to change the old traditional education system into a modern and amazing ones. The purpose of the education system is to develop good human beings capable of rational thoughts and actions, possessing compassion and empathy, courage and resilience, scientific temper and the creative imagination with sound ethical moorings and values. It aims at producing engaged, productive and contributing citizens for building an equitable, inclusive and plural society as envisaged by our constitution. NEP 2020 proposes revision and revamping of all aspects of the education structure including its regulation and governance. It also proposes creation of a new system that is aligned with the aspirational goals of the 21st century education including Sustainable Development Goal 4 that is SDG 4 while building upon India's traditions and value systems. NEP 2020 would make India into a vibrant knowledge country making school and college education holistic, flexible, multidisciplinary and suited to 21st century needs. School education ensures that all learners get access to education from grade 1 to grade 12. The NEP 2020 aims to get 100% gross enrollment in schools till the year 2030. Our nation really needs to focus on pre-primary education. What are the guidelines given in NEP 2020? Yes, pre-primary is made an integral part of education. Let us find out about it in detail. Early Childhood Care Education, that is ECCE, the NEP 2020 emphasizes the need for early childhood education and aims to enroll all children by the year 2025. 
early childhood care education reform will be catered by the anganwadis and the preschools the nep 2020 also stresses on integrating this structure seamlessly three years of anganwadi preschool structure has been made mandatory for each child to attend instead of the old 10 plus 2 structure that schools are following right now the nep 2020 introduces the new 5 plus 3 plus 3 plus 4 structure and this structure includes 12 years of schooling and 3 years of anganwadi or preschool structure this is a new curricular and pedagogical structure given by the nep 2020 as per the right to education act earlier the children of age group 6 to 14 years were included for free education which have been changed to 3 to 18 years wherever possible the medium of instruction until at least grade 5 but preferably till grade 8 and beyond will be the home language or mother tongue or local language or regional language under the new education policy emphasis has been laid on the development of creativity and artistry in the learners due to lack of education at basic level children face difficulty to become successful in future so the new education policy emphasizes on providing experiential learning to the learners and freeing them from rote method emphasis will be given to conceptual comprehension and not on rote method or reading for examination purpose only in nep two levels of education have been prescribed it has been seen that many learners face difficulty in understanding the subject of mathematics or it is not the subject of their interest mathematics after class 4 is divided into two levels one journal and one high the higher level will be for those learners who want to make their future in mathematics and science keeping in mind the goal of holistic development of the learner changes will be made in the class 10 and 12th examination too this may include improvement in future semesters like multiple choice questions i have heard that in this education policy importance has been given to the vocational education and not to the traditional education system is that so Yes exactly like this vocational education has been given great importance in this education policy let us know about it to give value to skills rather than rote in places where similar type of work is performed artificial intelligence and robotics will take the place of humans new education policy will provide professional education to learners starting from grade 6 which will be the beginning of the higher education under which computer education carpentry and other vocational programs will be added to the curriculum so that he or she can survive even in the event of a dropout children of age 12 to 15 years are not able to determine what to do in future so they will be provided with an understanding of different areas from class 6 itself through this they can choose their area of interest a learner interested in technology has to study many subjects whereas 
a learner interested in literature has to read computer with the suggestion provided in the nep 2020 a civil engineer who builds a dam will be able to understand its impact on the environment have there been changes in the higher education structure in the national education policy 2020 yes many changes have been made in higher education too let us know about them for admission in the university provision has been made for examination or examination to be conducted by nta that is national testing agency the goal is to provide world class education to the children under the national education policy 2020 the world's most high quality universities will be able to start their centers in india so that indian learners will be able to get world class education has any other provision been made for adult education in the new education policy 2020 Yes, absolutely. There is something about everyone in this. Let us know about it. As you know, the purpose of education is to make the people grow personally, to make them economically independent, to make them as a lifelong successful and to make them responsible citizens. Adult education and lifelong learning has objectives is to provide basic literacy and education to provide economic strength to provide opportunity to earn a living but there are disadvantages of being uneducated adults failure to do basic financial transaction failure to fill out the forms to apply for jobs loans services etc failure to use technology lack of understanding of directions related to medicines roads etc keeping this disadvantages in mind the nep has designed adult learning curriculum framework which includes basic literacy and number knowledge vocational skills development basic education continuing education important life skills as provision related to another recruitment also been made in the new education policy yes absolutely it talks not only about teacher recruitment but also education development facilities and adequacy the minimum qualification for teaching is required after 12th four year integrated bed degree or after obtaining bachelor's degree two year bed program or 4 year bachelor degree followed by 1 year of bed program after post graduation 1 year bed program is compulsory all such bed degrees can only be awarded by recognized multidisciplinary higher education institutions offering 4 year integrated bed degree to provide teachers education its objective is to ensure that we have adequate number of educators which are available for all the subjects recruitment of educators in a school or school campus especially in subjects such as art physical education vocational education and language can be done educator sharing in school can be done according to the grouping of school format adopted by state or union territories government Also we wanted to provide specialized training in order to provide benefit to the learners of the school campus or school campus and promote local knowledge of expertise various subject such as traditional local art commercial craft entrepreneurship agriculture or any other subject where local expertise exists local eminent person or experts will be encouraged to be engaged as special trainers teacher eligibility test examination will be compulsory for four levels basic level initial level middle level 
and secondary level and the obtained marks of their respective subjects of teacher eligibility test or nt exams will also be included in the recruitment process the local language can be used during the interview so that in future such type of educators can be recruited who can talk to the learners in the local language private schools will also have qualifications as per the government schools if we talk about recruitment and posting for rural environments study facility in four year integrated bed program and the provision of merit based scholarship especially for the girl learners have been promoted if we talk about the jobs for local learners the knowledge of the regional language will help them to connect with the learners and after becoming a teacher she will work like a role model amenities availability of local accommodation in or around the school premises increase in the residential allowance the nep tries to prevent transfers so that the relationship between the teacher and the community remains there will be provision for transfer only under special circumstances to maintain transparency there will be online software based system for transfer and there is also a recruitment related future plan which includes a technology based comprehensive teaching requirement plan and estimation of future needs will be conducted by each state to assess the subject wise teacher vacancies expected over the next two decades NEP 2020 also states that continuous professional development program that is CPD for the teachers which specifically cover the following topics it covers latest pedagogy of basic literacy and numerical knowledge it also include competency based learning constructive and adaptive assessments of learning outcomes related pedagogies like experiential learning arts integration play integrated and story based approaches it also talks about career management and progression which states at cmp it talks about the recognition and encouragement of excellent teachers excellent performing teachers shall be identified and given promotions and pay hikes so that all teachers are encouraged to do their best teachers doing outstanding work shall be recognized and promoted and given salary raises to incentive wise all teachers to do their best work therefore a robust merit based structure of tenure promotion and salary structure will be developed with multiple levels within each teacher stage that incentivizes and recognizes outstanding teachers the criteria for identification of excellent teacher will be a system of various parameters will be put in place by the state or union territories government for accurate assessment of teachers performances based on peer review attendance dedication cpd hours and other services rendered in the school and community teachers education approach in nep 2020 we want to train teachers in pedagogy along with providing high quality material we want to include teacher education in multidisciplinary colleges and university by the year 2030 to set up the department of excellence in education which will offer bed med and phd degrees in education program for the local teacher educations are some special short term local teacher education program will also be available in bite or diet diet or the school campuses themselves this would include local occupations and skills such as local arts music agri business sports carpentry and other commercial crafts in order to promote these eminent local persons will be appointed 
to teach as teacher trainers in schools or school campuses. We have also launched a short term certificate course in which it will be widely available in multidisciplinary colleges and universities after B. Ed for teachers. Such teachers will specialize in specific areas of teaching such as teaching learners with special needs or leadership and management in the school education system or move from one level to another between basic, elementary, upper primary and secondary levels. In Teachers Education Institution that is TEI, so ultimately strict actions will be taken against the substandard standalone teachers education institutes that the TEIs running in the country to maintain the integrity of the teacher education system including their closure if necessary. A big thank you to all the teachers and the district officers for being connected with us. This was the module to give you the brief description about National Education Policy 2020. We have created a course on NEP which consists of 14 modules. We are inviting all the teachers of the nation to attend this course and after the successful completion of this course, you will be eligible to get the certification. For more details and academic content, you can visit the site ip.ziieei.com. Thank you so much.